Your brain is the most incredible problem solving machine, right? Which is amazing, but we don't, we don't, we don't work with that. So we're going to work with your brain. How do I mean, like, what do I mean by this? You think about a series that you're watching, some series that you're watching. If you switch it off before the end of the episode or in the middle of a cliffhanger and you're not watching the next episode, how often do you find that it's scratching in the back of your brain? You're thinking about it before you go to sleep. It's like somehow it pops up in your head and you're thinking about it. Should do the, it's not active thought, it's not conscious, but it's like it's scratching in the back of your head, which is also why we also want to keep pressing play to see the next episode. We want to see what happened. Why? Why does that happen? Why do you think about it? For me, I know that if I'm in the middle of reading a book and I put the book down and I go to, I go to bed, I struggle to fall asleep because my brain's trying to figure out what's going to happen next. They should have done this. They shouldn't be doing that. What's happening? Da, da, da. And it just scratches at it because your brain doesn't like unfinished business. Your brain wants to solve problems because that's how your brain works. And so if your brain comes across a problem, it's going to scratch at it. It's going to itch at it. It's going to like, I, win. I want to solve this problem. Okay. So it holds the problem in your brain. If you watch a movie and you go to sleep, your brain doesn't scratch at it in the same way because everything is closed. It's all nice and closure. There's closed. There's nothing to solve. And so your brain leaves it and moves on. If I read a book that I've read before when I go to bed, the same thing doesn't happen because my brain's got nothing to solve. So it doesn't dwell on the book. It doesn't dwell on anything because there's nothing to solve. So it's like all finished, all closed, books closed, problem solved. We don't, we don't need to think about it. It's fine. So you're going to use this. How are you going to use this? Let me tell you. When you do the question before the lecture, what your brain does is it creates gaps. And it goes, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know why that is. What happened here? This is now you, you associate emotions to those gaps. Oh, there's so many gaps, I'm gonna fail. But your brain's not interested in that. Your brain's going, oh, there's a gap. There's a gap. Okay, so you knew that that was a debit, but you didn't know what the credit was. And okay, so you knew the ad acquisition, but you didn't know that. So your brain is creating gaps, right? So it's almost like you're building a puzzle and your brain is kind of allocating and going, my puzzle's amazing, right? Your brain's kind of going, we don't have that. We don't have that. We don't have that. We're missing. We're missing pieces. So your brain is identifying gaps because it's got a problem. So it's going, we've got a problem, 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 we've got a problem. Now tomorrow morning, tomorrow you sit in class, what does your brain do? Your brain's looking for the solutions. It's looking. Your brain is looking. This is very different to sitting back in the lecture and go, tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I need to know. No, 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 no. Your brain is going... When you tell me about that, when I hear that, I'm like, oh, yes, that, that was the, that, oh, that's right. That was what I didn't understand. Okay. If I'd have had that, then that would have filled in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I get that now. So now in the lecture, instead of being passive learning where you go, okay, just tell me stuff and I'll use it later. Your brain is sitting forward going, we need this stuff. What you're doing by doing a question before the class. You are tricking your brain into paying more attention, okay? So we are tricking your brain. We are using your brain. We are working with your brain. So we're following the way your brain works, which is looking for solutions to problems. When you go and sit in a lecture, your brain doesn't have a problem. It's just sitting there going, tell me stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, bring it on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. I'll remember that. Oh, you tell me I'm going to have to use the, okay. All right. But your brain doesn't have a problem. There's no problem because I haven't done it myself. I don't know. Okay. But when you've got a recent problem, your brain is itching for that solution because it doesn't like the gaps. Your brain doesn't like the gaps. And so it's looking. So you'll find that your lectures, you will absorb, you will remember, and you will focus more because your brain has a problem and it's trying to solve it. 